isn't it amazing how doing one video then leads to me thinking oh I should show that and I should do that and then somebody tells me something and I think oh yes I should have shown that okay this is a quick one thanks to Ron Harwood for show for reminding me about this um, particularly if you want to find Ron he's Micronet um, online on Twitter and in various forums and he's a very helpful person and he reminded me there was a much easier way to um, move audio within your screen you may remember yes in yesterday's video I showed you let me just open up a few files I showed you how if you had a couple of audio files open and you wanted to um, mix them well and get the mix just right and I've just opened the wrong thing let's cancel that I didn't want to do that did I okay let's close that one down I need to go to project import audio and say we were going to put this on there now the problem with me and audacity is although I mu I use it I know how to use it and I've actually I'm creating videos showing people how to use it part of the problem is that I use most of the time a uh, more advanced and expensive program called cool edit pro or as it's now called um, Adobe audition of which I work on both uh, but sorry I'm just zooming in by pressing that little button there um, and I come back to audacity and I it doesn't work in quite the same way and I suddenly think oh how, how do I move that because for example if I wanted to move this piece of audio across a little bit in cool edit pro I just right click on it and drag it along so I showed you yesterday that to move the audio across you go to you click where you want your audio to move to and you go to project align tracks and align with cursor which is fine you can do that quite easily but of course you know you might want to fine tune it and you might want to just move it around just ever so slightly and that's not quite so easy with that method so all you do is go up to here and Ron reminded me that this existed so thanks Ron for that you click on the time shift tool and then you just left click and you move it around as and where you want it which is fantastic for fine tuning and it's kind of the equivalent of right click hold and drag as I would in the other program but of course couldn't remember how to do this so very simple click on that left click and just hold it down and you can do it on that one as well move it around until you get it exactly where you want fantastic very simple and thank you Ron again go and find him at Twitter he is micronet